I'm at the airport. When am I not at the airport? <laughs> Time for adventure. Istanbul. Just picked up my bags. Let's go. Hello, good morning from Istanbul. I never really explained my trip. So I have a work trip here in Istanbul in about a month. And I thought I should tack on a few extra weeks before my work trip and explore this vast, incredibly beautiful, quite busy um, city. Obviously you know, you should know, Istanbul is, one, is the only city in the world that is on two continents. There is the European side of Istanbul, which I'm in at the moment, and um, there's also the Asian side, which is, makes it a very unique city. It's so far, I've been here for a couple of hours um, this morning and it's, it's stunning. It's um, hot, it's gorgeous. I'm literally looking at the Hagia Sophia right now. Um, and yeah, I think this video is just gonna be kind of a long vlog of, I'm here for a month. So I wanna show you my month in Istanbul and everything I get up to. And I'm very lucky to be here. It's extremely busy. It is absolutely hot, heaving. It's heaving. I've come to visit the mosque, the blue mosque. You have to wear a headscarf to be able to enter into the mosque. Wow. The madness of the whole mosque area behind. I think I'm gonna come back um, for a sunrise at some point because um, I've heard that at sunrise it's quite empty and then you get nice morning light and it should be quite a beautiful place to go. But right now I'm going to battle the crowd and go to the next place, which is the Grand Bazaar, which is supposed to be an experience. certainly grand. Um, I got lost. I didn't walk in circles for like half an hour. Um, it's a little overwhelming. Um, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of people, a lot of shops, a lot of people wanting to buy stuff. So it's been quite the experience of just being like, no, no, no. But um, wow. <sighs> Vibrant. Exciting. I love, I love it. I love it. Myself. I don't love it yet. I'm actually quite overwhelmed by it because it's extraordinarily busy and there's a lot going on. Although having said that, this is the first time I've been, I guess, this far east. I mean, I've been to countries in Asia. I've been to Sri Lanka and Indonesia, but this is like the furthest in this part of the world that I've ever been. So I think it's just a new experience for me and that's what I love. I love the novelty of it. The fact that I've never experienced anything like this before. Um, so 
lots to see this month. <laughs> I'm entering now the Suleimani Mosque. Suleimani Mosque, I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's one of the most famous ones here in Istanbul. It's supposed to be stunning. Um, and um, yeah, wow. The thing about this mosque, it's the it's an Ottoman Turkish mosque, I think, and it was built in the 1500s. So. I think even though this is one of the less famous ones and also not one of the biggest ones, it's less visited, which means it's quiet and beautiful. Inside the mosque again, and this one is so much more beautiful than the Blue Mosque. The Blue Mosque is famous because it's in town, but this one's by far. It's amazing. My knee is the Soleimani Mosque. I'm now leaving behind. I got some water because it's like 30 degrees here. It's still summer in Turkey, that's for sure. And I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go up to a part of Istanbul called Balat. So Fati, F-A-T-I-H, is like downtown, I guess, of Istanbul on the European side. It's where the mosques are, it's where the Hagia Sophia is, where the Grand Bazaar is. That's where I'm staying. But there's a little area that's called the Balat, and it's a little bit further into the European side up the river, and it's supposed to be so cute. So it's about a 45 minute walk, um, and I'm gonna hopefully walk up there and then see what there is to see up there. I'm actually having a really great day. So, it was the city of cats, by the way. There's cats everywhere. The most famous place in Balat is um, like some colorful houses. It's one of those like Instagram places where everybody comes and takes their picture with the colorful house. So check that off the list. Finally seen everything I wanted to see, which means it's time for food. I've been looking forward to this all day. Ooh. Making a mess. Okay, I'm officially at the vegan restaurant. I'm having vegan kebab. Like it's Turkish food. Don't bother with taxis. You'll spend your entire trip sitting in traffic. Traffic in Istanbul is fucking nuts. Like it literally just all day every day standstills. Just walk. Morning. It's Sunday today, and I'm gonna take the ferry to Asia. So I'm gonna. I'm on the European side of Istanbul, and. The most popular way to get across to Kadikoy, which is like the big area on the Asian side, is by ferry. So I just bought my ticket and um, yeah, I'm gonna take a boat to another continent.
Asian side and it's even busier than the European side somehow. It's madness. So I spent my day in a cafe, which is kind of what I wanted to do and got lots of writing done. I'm gonna walk a little bit through this part of town and there's a cat. I'm gonna walk through this part of Kitty Koi, the Asian part of Istanbul. More cats. And um, more cats. Uh, more cats. <laughs> and another cat. Oh, just city of cats. Um, and see what there is to find before. Oh, another cat. <laughs> We're taking the ferry back to the European side. I've been staring at a screen for too long and I'm gonna go and visit the Hagia Sophia on my lunch break. And a hot tip, if you don't come on the weekends, on the weekends if you come in, um, the line is like three hours long. Now there's like, you just walk straight in and it's Tuesday afternoon, so hot tip, come on the weekdays. I visited it is extraordinarily beautiful and extraordinarily busy. There's a lot of people coming to visit. But it's very beautiful so you can see why and it's free. So definitely worth doing. The Hagia Sophia is like the most famous mosque I would say in all of Istanbul. It's like the thing to see. And like I've, I've been in it which is really cool. I just bought this corn from that street vendor right there and as I was buying it he offered to marry me um, and he was like you're the most beautiful angel I've ever seen and we should get married and I'll give you all the money I've ever made from selling all my corn so cheers to that Istanbul <laughs> I just wanted to give you some stats it happens every single day but today particularly Tuesday I've had two marriage proposals one of which earlier I told you about offered to give me all the money he's made from selling corn and I got one just now he said he would give me 15 camels. It's not bad. <laughs> and I've had seven people either ask me if I'm Russian or just start speaking to me in Russian. So, I guess they just expect me to be Russian out here. <sighs> from Istanbul. It's been a while since I filmed. I've just been so busy with work and 
seeing the city um, and I'm just watching the sunset at a beautiful mosque, Ortake Mosque. And it's amazing. A while since I filmed. Hello <laughs> from the mad streets of Istanbul. We're entering our final week here in Istanbul before I head off to the rest of Turkey and um, I just wanted to maybe put in some clips of one of the most beautiful days weather-wise that we've had. We're at the Galata Tower which is there, a very famous icon of Istanbul. And I just wanted to show you what it's really like to walk around Istanbul for a day. So come along and that's what we're going to see. We're starting the day with juice in, where are we, Galata? Galata area. What do you think of your bag? I don't know if I like it. <laughs> but what do you think of your necklace? I love it. <laughs> So we've come out to Balat, which is this very cute, colorful little hipster neighborhood. Lots of cafes and restaurants and shopping. And it's really cute. Like, look how cute. It's like an Instagram paradise. So that's where we are now. <laughs> How's your chai? It's not good. <laughs> Especially if you don't drink coffee at the moment. How are you feeling? Better. <laughs> and I get food. <laughs> this is traditional Turkish tea. It comes like this. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> and we're just like poking around on a hot, very hot Saturday in October. It's so hot today. So we're having a great day. See you later. There's so many cafes and bakeries and stuff. We had vegan dinner and then we bought Sunday and it's actually my last full free day in Istanbul because next weekend my work event starts in Istanbul and I started that on Saturday so this is my last weekend in the city I've taken the metro across to the Asian side 
I'll probably take the ferry back. But I've taken the metro and I'm on the Asian side of Istanbul because I'm actually going to meet a colleague for breakfast. Friday, October 7th, which means tomorrow I'm checking out of this hostel, which is like, ah, I've been here for a month. I spent a month living here in this hostel in Istanbul. So today I'm packing um, my life up again, which is what I always do. Um, under the bed is my closet. Um, it's a mess. And then I've also got all of this. This is all my stuff. So yeah, packing up my life. I just thought I would end the video here because Istanbul's basically over. Istanbul is a fascinating city. It's a total blend of um, East versus West, like Asia versus, not versus, meets. Like it's a blend of fascinating cultures and languages and people and food and it's amazing. I love Istanbul. It's very overwhelming, but um, I've had the most amazing month, mostly because um, the hostel was so special and I felt like I had this place in the city where I really belonged and I really just had the most wonderful time looking forward to the next adventure, uh, which obviously I will share here. So thanks for following along and see you next time. Bye.